The Word of God is all-powerful and will accomplish whatever God wills. But it is truthful in the heart of man only if it be received interiorly, as the earth soaks up the rain which enables it to yield the grain. This aspect of the Word is reflected in today's Gospel. When Jesus finishes telling the parable of the sower, He cries out, Whoever has ears ought to hear. Clearly, this is an admonition for everyone to hear, to examine, understand, and accept the gospel of Christ, and apply the truths of the kingdom. My dear friends, Jesus sternly warns us not to become like the footpath, one who rejects the word outright, nor the rocky ground, someone with a shallow faith who immediately backslides when trials come, nor the turning ground, one who is choked by the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches and the pleasures of life. We are all from time to time, sometimes fat, rocks and thorns, but also good and fertile soil. It is certain that the word of Jesus buds and bears fruit in hearts open to His action. But we must not cease from shaking our laziness, our indecision, and the hardness of hearing the many believers. Pope Benedict XVI, in his fight against the dictatorship of relativism, made similar calls in his encyclicals for all of us Christians to be a good soil. In Sacramentum Caritatis, on the Sacrament of Charity, he encourages us to exercise Eucharistic consistency, meaning to bravely bring Jesus to our homes and workplaces. And in Spesalve, on Christian hope, he teaches us that the gospel is not only informative, but formative. Truly, it is one thing to understand the Word of God and apply it in our daily lives. The good soil is the only way that leads us to eternal life. Let us then pray, Lord, cultivate the soil of my heart and make it receptive to the seed of your word. Amen.